I'm a medievalist, though that covers quite a long period because it's from Anglo-Saxon, about 800, through to about 1500. And I've been teaching for the college for 45 years, something like that. I'm pretty well medieval myself. And uh, for this scheme, almost from its inauguration, which was, what, 14 years ago, something like that, um, I've been teaching almost every year either on Old English or Middle English, Medieval English, or through to a very modern writer called Shakespeare. Um, indeed, yesterday, uh, one of my previous Anglo-Saxon Old English students from the States came and had lunch with me in college, and many of them keep in touch by email or by visits and from a spread of the whole of those 14 years, it's very nice. They always keep in touch and let me know what they're doing. Many of them going on doing research degrees, some at Cambridge. Uh, the magnetism of Cambridge clearly operates and a lot want to come back and do an MPhil or a PhD here. Others to other universities, uh, quite a mixture. Last year, one student I had uh, is now doing a research degree at a leading French university. I think many of them are very surprised um, that we teach in singly, face to face, or in pairs, or at the most perhaps three. That a good many, of course, aren't used to the teaching being a classroom of 45, 50, 60 people. And so the personal interest and guidance, um, it of course has its pluses and its minuses from their point of view. The pluses are that they are meeting somebody who is personally guiding them and watching the sort of interest they have, hopefully broadening their interest too. Um, the minus, is, minus from their point of view is you can't get away with anything. If you haven't written your essay, that is very evident. There's only one of you. <laughs> so the students that we have, I've never had one who wasn't either very, very clever or brilliant. Through the whole of that time, it's quite remarkable. And to have those people around, many of them have wider interests too. They join the, the, the Cambridge University or the Pembroke uh, drama groups, um, poetry societies, all that sort of thing. And it means we're getting very bright people with a different perspective because they do come from quite a long way away. <laughs> I believe it's a minimum 3,000 miles from here to the States. Um, and they benefit from meeting the British students, and we certainly benefit from having these very bright people coming and visiting amongst us, determined as they are, they've only got six months to get the very, very most out of it.